Hey YouTube, how are you doing? It's Wolf from the Tap and taking a full review of Tweetbot. Now this application does replace my Twitter, official Twitter application, should I say. Um, the only reason cause this Tweetbot is one of my favourite applications there is right now. Now of course it's very simplistic and very easy to use and I love the design they actually made of it. Uh, it's very different and very unique indeed. Now of course when you're first welcome to the screen you'll see you have your accounts. So I have two here, my uh, you know my normal blog and also my official app the tap you know uh, social feed. Now of course you can add by pressing the add here and you can sign in with Twitter. So it basically pull in your new Twitter account if you're new to the application. If you want to edit you press the edit so you can scroll up or sorry, sorry let me get it right. You can scroll up and down like so so you can move the you know the um, you know logins uh, to your desire. Um, when you press done you get more settings so you can go in more in depth basically you can add on to uh, push notifications and so on and so far now I'm going to go into my normal William Hawks one you know that's my official you know Twitter application but as you can see it's very simplistic indeed it's very easy to control just like any other Twitter basically but as you can see it looks a bit more different than before the only reason because you can see here it has two new tweets so it's basically going to tell you to scroll up to show you how many tweets there are if you want to go and refresh the page, it's just going to you know, pull up and it comes up that little radar and once you let go, it's going to go around and refresh the world of tweets. Now as you can see, my other official Twitter, um, you know, my Twitter page you know, has gone into Spanish. Now what I like about this application the most is it actually translates to the language you're in right now, so I'm basically British English. So I have many friends in different countries, and they actually tweet in different many, um, you know, many languages. And it's kind of hard to do that, you know, translation uh, through the actual official Twitter application. But thanks to this application, if you hold down that tweet there, you get this great sort of looking interface on where you can get more information. You can post link to tweet, so you could basically copy the link and post it into your own tweet. Copy tweet, email tweet, and also translate. So basically, you're going to go and press translate, and it's going to go and translate the tweet right now. And then right now, it's translated it to social hello world. So I've basically done that just to show you what is it, you know, what it can do and what how it works. And it's come up with the exact words I have actually put. So it's really accurate and very right indeed. So I like that a lot. That's a great feature on this application. Now, of course, if you want to reply to the tweet, you can just tap the application like so. You'll get the reply, retweet, favourites, settings, and through their um, tweet, basically, to get a bit more uh, larger field. Now, of course, it's very easy to do, you know, create a tweet. So, basically, if you want to make one, it's just like normal. Press the blue tab on the right far corner. You'll get this great sort of interface here. You get your uh, settings. You get your, uh, basically, um, you know, your ads or you can get your hashtags. So it's very, very simple to use and very elegant indeed. Now what I like about this application the most, of course, is the, you know, less out of the way in your face. So basically, if you remember the official Twitter, when you used to put the, um, you know, the person's at tag, it used to come down here and interfere with the whole tweet. But this one here clears all that clutter and basically brings it up in this really small but very elegant uh, style, you know, sort of thing. So I really like that indeed. Of course, you can scroll back to, you know, back to side. You can cancel a tweet. So I want to delete that quickly because it's not really necessary to, you know, tweet myself. Anyway, um, you know, when you go to the ads, it's got your people who um, tweeted you. Or should I say, personally tweeted you. Now, of course, you do you get loads of spammers on actual Twitter itself, and it gets kind of annoying some of the time. But as you do, as you know, that people might not have a computer at home, and of course, sometimes you know they nom it out and about, and they can't deal with uh, spammers. So this application here will de no will deal with spammers. All you have to do, of course, is tap down, or sorry, should I say, hold down, and you'll see the report for spam. So all you're going to do is going to press report for spam. It's going to say, do you want to confirm that? I'm going to report that for spam as it is actually spamming me. Now it's confirming that it has been reported for spam and also blocked the actual user from my, you know, from instance, uh, contacting me. And this is where you're going to get your mail from and also you're going to get your starred, for instance, your favourite tweets. Or if you don't like that, you can hold it down and do your desire you wish to. So you can go on to different ones, for instance, search, retweets, you know, so on and so on. Now, of course, if you're going to go to your profile, you can go to your profile by Saxon clicking there. Or you can hold down like so, and you can get the same features as you had a second ago with the stars. But, of course, if you click on one of those icons, it will stay there for a while until you click on another one. So it's going to go on to your personal favourites, basically. 
As you can see here, this looks like my um, profile, as you can see. It has information, it has my tweets, followers, uh, following are listed. Now, the really interesting uh, feature I like the most about this, of course, if you want to go and search for somebody, you can buy very easily. You can just go in like so. You can get all these different hashtags and what have you like normal. But if you're gonna if you're gonna tweet, basically, you can um, type in the you know the at and uh, whatever name you're gonna put in their desire. Um, it automatically say to you, do you wish to go and search that person? So you can search it, and once you tapped on that, it'll add it to your tweet, so it won't you know distract you, won't you know discard your tweet. So it'll stay the same and helping you. So that's a really good feature indeed. Now of course it's very simple and very easy. Now that's why I love this application so much and why I think it's my favourite application of the year. Now of course there's no more features to this of course, um, but the only feature I wish to go and show you quickly of course is that I've seen somebody on the actual application, um, you know, basically they reviewed it and they're saying there's no push notifications. Well let me go and show you where you can actually make this actually happen, for instance make it push notifications to you. Now it doesn't actually go into the actual um, you know, notifications on the iPhone, you have to do it manually. You're going to go into settings, once you go into settings you need to decide your username, I'm going to choose my William Hawks one, and here you're going to get your URL shorting, image and what have you, and after that you're going to go and find uh, sorry, notifications. Here you'll be having a desired choice of which ones you love, you know, you love to have on. You can have direct messages, tweets, sorry, retweets, favorites, follows, added to list, subscribers list, uh, sorry, subscriber to list. Sorry, my mouth is not working right now. But you know, if you, want, if you don't want those to work, you can by swipe that swiping off and on. So it's very simple to use and very simple to control. And of course, if you want to make it to sleep options, basically, if you're, you know. Uh, social mad you can you know make it sleep so basically you start time so basically it's 10 o'clock in the morning till the end of the day or noon so for instance like 9 o'clock when you go to bed and it won't open the application until the morning so that's very good if you're going to be a twitter fanatic now of course that ends my review of the actual application itself this application of course is $1.99 in the apple store and $2.99 in the united states it didn't sound too right but anyway that's um, my favorite application of the year or should i say my favorite twitter application of the year if you wish to see this then yeah, my, blog, my full blog will be on my website and you know there'll be more coming very soon but anyway thank you so much for watching my video and i hope to see more of my, my, more of my videos in the near future anyway i'll see you later people have a good day